this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. If I may say so. I have a request. Morning. I'm gonna keep going. Listen. Yep, exactly.
By the way. What'll it be? I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. You gotta tell no Uh-huh. Prices are a bit lower today. Take a look if you have the chance. You gotta tell no All done here? Come back soon. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So. As you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. You're probably busy all the time, too. Try taking a break once in a while. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, Order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Well, seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together?
Thank you so much. A treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. <sighs> All right, fine. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? That's right! I agree! This is supposed to be a place of learning! And they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school! We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Welcome back. With that, we have all the second years present. So, what exactly are we all here for? Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. Uh, you've kind of been living here all this time. I think we get the picture by now. <laughs> if any one of us needs it, it's you. You do realize if you screw around and break something, you'll get us all in trouble, right? Oh, come on! I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. <laughs> you'll make a great assistant, then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Wait, new stuff? Sweet! So what, are we gonna get, like, hot springs? Or maybe a casino? You are so stupid. We'll just have to see now, won't we? With that, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh, looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Do you all cook your own meals? I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... 
Come to think of it, I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? If you care about eating a balanced diet, there's no better way than to cook it yourself. <laughs> but it's not as cheap as they make it out to be. It's hard to use everything up before it goes bad. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess. But I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. Moving right along, then. Here's where we all hang. This is the lounge. Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Oh, that's mine. I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. It's no problem at all. It was a broken one to begin with, but I was able to fix it. So I hoped you all might get some use out of it. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. Um, Yukari-chan? You're kind of scaring me. That wraps up the first floor. Let's move up to the next. Oh, by the way, Kirijo Senpai, are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. This area is pretty sweet. Nice and quiet. And let me tell you, those chairs are mwah. So, when I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. Please, utilize it however you'd like. Any piece of literature is a means of broadening one's horizons. Aye, aye, Captain! Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Aye, aye. Please, keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. Let's keep moving on, then. We'd been keeping the rooftop off-limits, but recently decided to open it up. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. Wow! I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? Oh boy, I can hear him now. Eat your veggies, peas. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk blasted on his face. I've been told it was left in your care. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it might be nice to try growing a thing or two. Uh, you okay doing this all on your own? Why don't you help him out, Junpei? It's not like you've got anything better to do. Yeah, I definitely saw that one coming. But I guess it does look kind of fun. Maybe all the vitamins from the veggies will make my skin all a silky smooth. <laughs> that would be a sight to see. The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. 
I might be a bit interested as well. That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. And that concludes the tour. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but... Welcome to the dorm. Thank you! Oh. dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. Wait, really? You're totally fine with that stuff? That's actually perfect. I'll try to push through then. Oh wait, it's starting! Man, the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. <laughs> I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. Bed. Good night. Have you heard? Seriously? By the way. Guess we'll get started.
Okay, then. Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamigishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, KSK senpai You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga senpai Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey... Do you have an eye for art? <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, 
I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. I see you're back. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Very well, then. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Is that true? Very well then. Chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. Next, you gotta portion everything out and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Not really. I'm just lazy, so I want to do everything in one go. But if I want to get stronger, I have to do whatever it takes. All right, let's get started. Huh, it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. By the way, Yeah. 
I know, right? I've been waiting for you. Very well, then. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. about you should really figure out what's causing the pain it might lead to serious complications down the road does anywhere else hurt are your nose and throat all right does it feel like your head is in a vice oh boy here we go Heisuke Senpai strikes again Yamagishi san won't be going anywhere for a while. If someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Keisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension-type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, 
You two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. See you back. Um. Hi. If you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm out in my biz, so mind your own biz. Whatever like is. <laughs> Novels like this? Oh, wow! I guess it's good that I invited you today, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? Oh, I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? Wow! You've read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress, too. Was I more focused than usual, or...? read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity, but now, I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. All right, that's enough for today. Good night.
I must so. I think I am done for today. Could we go somewhere to eat after this? Merci. That means a lot to me. There is something I need to talk to you about. Hello. Where do I begin? I'm afraid... I might have to go back home soon. The only reason I was able to come here was because of my aunt. But my uncle did not agree with the decision. Get home now! Maintenant! Is he my uncle or the Mafia? If I do return home, back to my uncle, I might never come back to Japan again! Do you mean it? I would love to stay. I want to dedicate my life to learning everything about Japan. Except, it does not matter what I say to him. I cannot afford to live here without my uncle's help. And I have gotten to know you well. I cannot simply say, see you later, and leave you like this. It's almost time to say, see you later. Then I'll see you at the club sometime. Welcome back! Hmm... I picked up the ingredients to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? Really? Aren't you a growing boy? I thought you'd be eating a lot. Then again, you are pretty slim, so I guess it makes sense. Mm, today's portion might be too much, then. Well, either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Uh, I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I'll make up for it next time, so let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. 